Hi, Zuki. Say good morning. Okay. Um, I want to show you Zuki's toys and kind of do a tour of his cage, which is a giant disaster of a mess right now. He just took a bath. So you can kind of see his, his face is still wet. Are you hiding? He's so silly, little bird. Anyway, there he is. He's in his jump up spot. Jump up. Jump. Good boy. I'll show you Zuki first. Come here, stinker. Okay. This is Zuki with his wet face because he just took a bath. <laughs> you want to play? Okay. Anyway, I want to show you his cage and his toys. And kind of talk about like some of the toys that he has and some of the things that are his favorites and some he doesn't really care for. But anyway, I want to talk about that. So this is Zuki's cage. He just flew out. He's on top of the budgie's cage. This is his cage. I'll show you. Like I said, it's a design. Designer. Duh. It's a giant mess. It's a disaster. I need to clean it. Um. Anyway, there's a. Uh, first, I'll go through his toys. So this is one toy that he's had since. We've had him, and we got him like about like a year and a couple months. So like we've had him for like 14 months. So this um, is just a ring with some rope and some wood pieces, and it had a wood ring, but he broke through that. So I just put this like little binder, metal binder ring on there. It's stainless steel. Um, this I put bee pollen in. He's which is empty. Oh, I better refill that. And then he has his happy hut, which is back here. He doesn't really go in it, but he sure likes to sit on top of it. He likes to sit on this perch, and this perch has this like little ring that he likes to spin around and go in and out of. This I got at, I think it was like PetSmart. It was really cheap at PetSmart, and it had a mirror in it, but... Um, I think I got it at PetSmart. It might have been Petco. I don't know. Anyway, it had a mirror in it. I took the mirror out because he would just sit in front of it and stare at himself. <laughs> Silly bird. So, and then he's got a slinky. And he likes to, like, climb up it and bounce on it, rub his head on it. Um, he's got this, which I wrote up. No, I can't write it and think up on this one. This one has rope. This is, I believe, Preview brand. And it has like, I don't know if you can see, he's got like wood pieces on it with like paper wrapped around it and he chews on it. He really likes this one. He likes to climb on it too. Um, he's got his rope perches. And then this one is just, this are sticks of apple wood. And these are, I actually made this one. So this is um, KT apple wood sticks for like small animals hamsters and bunnies to chew on and they're pre-drilled and i just took some jute and i threaded the jute through it with beads and then i had a leftover clip carabiner i don't know if it's really a carabiner clip or not i don't know anyway these things they come on toys so whenever i throw out a toy or he gets a new toy i take these off and i make some new toys so this one so we've been in here for a little bit and he's chewed on it a little bit, but not too much. He really likes the tail on this one. He like chews on the end right there. And then he's got his swing and this came in a travel cage that I bought a long time ago. So I don't even know what brand it is. This one right here. Uh oh, well, this one is preview. And I did a written review on my blog about this one. I bought it at like Petco and it was broken when I got it. So that's why this ring fell off. Oh, I guess, well, he's been chewing on it. So he's been playing with it. He chews on it and he broke the ring. Like this ring was broken when we got it. But um, he likes to play with it, chew on the rings and the the ropes. He hasn't really climbed on it all that much. Sometimes he'll climb all over his toys. Sometimes he won't. This one he just likes to chew on the rope. He really likes rope toys. Um, this is his coconut hut and I took some pictures of it at the store and I'm going to do a review on this one pretty soon on the blog too. And he really likes it so we use it as like a foraging toy. So I put all his like little foot toys in it like his bells and he's got little paper tubes 
Um, I'll put like beads and buttons and stuff in it. And then I'll put like treats, like millet spray, it's like little pieces of millet spray in there. And then he'll like throw the balls out and throw the toys out and dig around for the, the millet. Um, these I got at a bird, like a specialty pet store that specializes in like birds and reptiles and koi ponds and like fish ponds and stuff yeah, in my area and it's called Pruce Pets and they just have like bins and bins of like little foot toys for birds. Zuki really likes this. It's just cardboard. He's got another one. He likes to throw it on the ground mostly. <laughs> he just likes to throw things around. He's kind of a stink that way. And then I had these are balls for cats with a little bell on it. You can see the bells. And this is made by Boots and Barkley. I got it at Target and it was a four pack. It came with two of this style and two that were this style. I'll grab both of them so you can see the difference. So these are the difference. And um, he really likes this kind. I don't know if it's just easier for him to pick it up or if they're a little bit smaller or what, but he really likes that learning. These he doesn't really pay much attention to. He just kind of, sometimes he'll push them around on the on the bottom of his cage, but he won't pick them up. Like these, he'll pick them up and like rattle them and throw them. He loves those a lot. He really likes his coconut hut. And then he's got this little ladder, which I believe is made out of willow. And again, I don't know where I got this. I think I got it at Petco. And he had some clearance stuff at Petco. And he has another one on his play stand, which is down in the living room. But he really likes to go on that and chew on it. And I think it had another rung on the bottom here, like right here, that he totally got rid of, chewed on. This is his rings, and he likes the bell, he likes to chew on the rings and play on them and climb on it. And then he's got this, which is just, it's a ring that I put, um, you can see, you can kind of go through it. I just tied fleece on it, and the red, like, satin ribbon, I had it tied up on the roof, but yeah, he didn't play with it up there, so I put it over here. He kind of likes to sit. He likes to sit on this perch down here and sit next to it. Um, he never really like chews on it. I know a lot of people say that fleece is bad for the birds, but he's never really chewed on any kind of fabric. So if your bird chews on fabrics and like strings other than like a natural fiber, then you probably wouldn't want to put something like that in the cage. Uh, like cotton is a natural fiber, so I know that it could at least be digested eventually. Um, and he's got this little pacifier. I'll pull it out before you can see it. That little pacifier, which he likes to chew on too. And he's got this. And this is just, shoot, this is just a clip that goes on a hanger. It's like happy hangers or huggable, huggable hangers. That's what it is at Target. And they have these clips that you can hang on it to hang your pants on it. And I take bird feathers. And these are actually, I think, pears feathers? Whoa! No, some of them are his, some are olives, but just feathers, and he likes to chew on those and play with those too. Um, and then he's got a ladder back there, which he completely ignores. Never seen him ever play with that ladder. And then he's got this toy that spins around and has a bell, and again, he's never played with this one. He's not really into bells. Like, some birds really like bells, but he's never really paid any attention to bells. And then Except for like the cat ball with the bells in them. He really likes those, but I don't know if it's the bell or the ball that he likes. Either way, this is his cuddle bone, which he chews in once in a while, not very often. He's not all that excited about it. Me, he's not a girl. My girl bird eats him all the time, but uh, he doesn't. And then he has this, oh wait, where is it? There it is. There's his ladder. It goes between his cage and the budgie's cage. And this actually is really long. It's like three feet long, but um, I folded it up so he could just like bridge the two cages. And this is the budgie's cage. And there's, there's Olive. Say hi, Olive. And there's Nim next to Zuki because Zuki wants to go inside. And one of these days I'll like do a tour of the budgie cage too. Again, giant disaster of a mess. I need to clean. But that's it.
that's Zuki's cage. Now it's the budgie's cage. And there's Zuki being a stinker, climbing all over the budgie cage. Anyway, see you later. Hope you like the tour. Bye.